worm. Prepare yourself. Damn sane. Not only do I think it would be hilariously awesome if during the tournament, like right in the beginning, Frieza transforms into his golden Frieza form and then completely destroys Krillin right in front of Android 18, having Android 18 attack him, and then that would be the very beginning of the tournament and it would be so taken out of left field, it would be hilarious. I'm probably alone in that, and I don't think it's gonna happen. Not even a little bit. I don't think that they're bringing Frieza back just for him to stab his opponents or his uh, allies in the back. I think that they're bringing Frieza back and they're gonna give him a, a they're gonna give him a reason, a real good reason for him to want the Universe 7 team to win. So everyone's coming up with these theories on how this is gonna happen, what's gonna happen with Frieza. So I'm gonna I don't wanna milk the Frieza stuff with videos on upon videos about it. I'll probably make a couple. This is gonna be one of them talking about my thoughts on it, how they're gonna get him to go in the tournament. A prediction and what's gonna happen during the tournament what and then what's gonna happen after this is all a theory so take everything that I say with a grain of salt and actually I just came up with this theory not too long ago I just subscribed to a fellow YouTube Dragon Ball youtuber his name is Imashis live if I butchered that I apologize but I just I just subscribed to him. He's got some great content on there. Doesn't take any BS. Real good videos. Uh, hour-long videos for some of them, but really the only hour-long videos I could watch from Dragon Ball YouTubers at this point right now. I'm new to the community, so, you know, again, I don't know too many of them, but he seems like a good guy. And he just made a video called Frieza's Motive in the Tournament of Power. Like I said, everyone's making these videos, and he's giving his two cents, and that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to his video in the description below. He's got some good ideas, some good thoughts, a really well-constructed video. Go ahead and check it out. But I put in my two cents on what was what I think is gonna happen, which what I thought was gonna happen with Frieza, how they're gonna get him in for a while now. Well, since he's been announced. And then I thought of pushing a little bit further during our conversation. So the way I think that they're gonna get Frieza to join the tournament is Goku's gonna straight up lie to him. He's lied to everyone, his dearest friends in on his own team, the Z Fighters. He's lied to them about, you know, the tournament, that the, tor the universes won't be destroyed, that they're gonna win money, getting them to join the team. I don't see it being any different with Frieza. I don't see him, you know, telling Frieza that, you know, or I don't see Beerus kind of pushing Frieza to join the team. Like, oh, well, I'm going to, you better join the team. Like, I don't see that. I don't see Frieza being scared of Beerus. Frieza's already in hell. He's in, like, the worst part of hell. He hates the Hearth hell. So I don't see him really being scared of Beerus at that point. So I don't see that at all. I don't see Beerus or Frieza being afraid of his existence being destroyed. I mean, he already hates the hell that he's in. Um, it's not really confirmed whether if the universes are destroyed, if the hells and heavens and all that gets destroyed along with it. I don't know. We don't have real confirmed senses on how the hierarchy works in this of these planes. So, you know, we don't know if he's going to be destroyed out of existence. I think maybe he'd prefer that, honestly, compared to just being in that hell. So I don't think that's going to be the reason. Here's what I think is going to happen. And, you know, again, Goku's going to straight up lie to him and tell him he's going to come back for 24 hours. And then he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to bring you back for 24 hours to find this tournament. The prize is a wish. And the wish can be to get your body back. You can live again. Frieza. I will allow that to happen. Frieza, it's going to be a pretty interesting episode in seeing how Frieza kind of, you know, thinks about this. And, you know, what, what goes through his mind and how he responds to Goku. It's going to be very, very interesting to see his response. But I think that the hell is just so getting out of it that's going to be his main motivation in, in resurrection of F, the movie and the uh arc he hates earth's hell he completely despises it it's almost like he's got ptsd from that hell so to get out of that hell for 24 hours i think he'll take up him up on that offer to get his body back if they win he'll definitely i think he'll definitely take him up on that offer 
and here's where I think that's gonna what's gonna happen next. So people are probably saying, you guys, the average person is probably saying right now in the comment section, well, why would Goku allow him to, you know, well, he's gonna allow him anyway, but why would he allow him to have his body back and to be alive again? Because he's just gonna be a threat. He's gonna attack Goku, he's gonna attack Earth, kill thousands of people. He's a bad guy. And, you know, a lot of you guys are against him becoming a good guy. No, hell no, we don't want Frieza to become a good guy. That's, you know, I don't want that either. I want him to still remain a tyrant, vicious, sort of like Vegeta, but not to the extent where Vegeta has a family now and is kind of a good guy. I still want him to be a bad guy, but I honestly think that it's past that time for him to move on from Goku and the, and the Z Fighters and Earth. I think he can go and, and, and face and be more interested in facing other threats. So this is what I think is going to happen in the tournament. In the tournament of power, I think that Goku and Frieza are going to be an unlikely tag team. They are going to be the ones that are be taking the stronger opponents out. I think Goku by himself is going to be able to do it. Frieza by himself is going to be able to do it by himself. But there are going to be some opponents that they just can't fight on their own while the other Z fighters are busy fighting some other ones. So I think that unlikely in some of these episodes, you're going to see um, maybe Goku getting overwhelmed and Frieza knowing that if they lose Goku, they have a real shot of losing the tournament because Goku is so powerful. He knows that. So he's going to try to save Goku's skin. And I think that's where it's going to start. And then I think that the ultimate battle, we all seen it in the intro, Goku versus Jiren the Grey. Epic fight, looks like. No one's going to contest to that. But what if Jiren the Grey is stronger than Goku? Even at Super Saiyan Kaioken. This is all speculation. What if he is stronger? What if he's more powerful or maybe more experienced? And then you have... Hit Goku needing help and then Frieza attacks during the gray to help him out So both of them are attacking him and they overwhelm during the gray and either knock him out of the tournament or whatever the case might be So now Frieza and Goku have saved Universe 7 now I don't know how everything is gonna play out if the other tournaments are gonna be destroyed This is not what this video is gonna be about. I really haven't thought too much on that what I'm thinking is just on Frieza and I want Frieza to come back and just be over Goku and the team. I want him to just be like, okay, I'm not going to be thinking about you guys and trying to get my revenge or anything like that. I fought with you. I saved your life. He, I think it's paramount that Frieza saves Goku's skin at some point in this tournament. It's paramount for him to get past Goku and his revenge. And I want Frieza to be kind of like a hermit at some point. I, he's he after this tournament, he's got and he and this is all presuming that he gets his body back. He doesn't go back to hell. He gets his body back. He's back in Universe Seven. If he gets his body back, he's back in Universe Seven. I I mean I want I want to see him be a tyrant. I want to, I don't mind if he destroys other civilizations or starts conquering things again. But I do want him to focus on becoming better and stronger. But better and stronger with for what? I mean, you guys might be asking. I mean, he can't if he's going to be over Goku and the team. There's really nobody else in Universe Seven he can fight. That's the thing, though. Now he's faced extremely powerful opponents, much, and at some levels, probably, I'm assuming, stronger than Goku in this tournament. So what I'm thinking is that th that that those fights are going to be etched into him, and I want him to be going through his character arc, where now he's like, I need to get stronger. You know, I'm going to forget about Goku, for the most part. And my revenge, there are much bigger fish to fry. I saved his skin a couple times, uh, or once, or whatever, in the tournament. You know, I'm assuming, and then I, we, me and him, are a pretty good tag team. Goku has said it many times himself that he wishes that Frieza was a good guy because he'd be a great sparring par partner. He'd be a great um, person to train with. So you know, they made a good tag team on, in the uh, in the tournament. They, you know, he's got bigger fish to fry, so he wants to get stronger to face these other opponents, and I think that's going to push on into the next couple arcs. I think there's a main reason why they're bringing Frieza back. It's not just, you know, it probably is a, a good portion of it because, you know, to get more interest into it. I honestly still wish they would have switched Master Roshi for um, Frieza, but no, they've switched Boo, which I, you know, I kind of wanted to see Boo in this tournament. But anyway, that's going to happen, and then there's a main reason for them bringing back Frieza and I think that's it he's gonna have a major story arc and he's gonna be vital and I would say that I'm theorizing here that he and Goku are gonna be the ones to face off against Jiren the Grey anyway guys those are just my thoughts let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this theory and what are your own theories I know everyone's got them it's the hottest thing right now and I really want to hear them because mine could be wrong I could be taking uh, you know I could you know involve mine with some of your suggestions Drop me a like if you like my video. Check out the link in the description below for uh, Imash is live. 
which is another YouTuber, Dragon Ball YouTuber. It's going to be Dragon Ball Black, signing off.